Hello everyone and welcome back to My Crafting World. This is Anna. Guys, I made another Christmas card. And for this one, I did white on white. So I'm gonna have to bring it up a little closer for you to see. So all I did for this one was, of course I cut out my card base and it is white cardstock. And then the next mat or the first mat that I have on there is a glitter mat. And it's hard to see on camera but um it's a uh, glitter cardstock and then i have this and it's up on dimension it's all, i'm sorry i always say dimension i give it dimension uh, it's up on foam and this foam is a three millimeter foam so it's not real thick and i cut another piece of white cardstock and this is 110 pound uh, cardstock and i embossed it with a uh, christmas embossing folder and then this one is another embossing folder and I embossed the tree, but then I cut it out. I embossed, a, you know, this is a pearlized white paper. So I embossed it and then I cut it out of the, uh, you know, of the sheet of paper that it was on. And then I went ahead and I, for the star, for the star guys, remember I said I had some uh, glass glitter well, I thought I'd start small and I put the glass glitter on the star, which looks really, really pretty. And yeah, all I did was, you know, put the glue on there, the the, the glitter and then tapped it down. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's not smooth, but it doesn't have any sharp points that would, you know, um, cut anyone. So after I did that, I took my glue and I put glue in these little because supposedly the tree is outdoors. So I put glitter inside these large, um, I'm, or, or maybe not uh, circles, they could be ornaments, they could be snow, I don't know. But um, I put white glitter inside these, these larger circles. And then on the smaller ones, that's why it, I kind of think it might be snow because there are smaller ones as well. Um, I did, I, I filled it in with stickles. The stickles I used was the Stardust. So, and you know, I know it's kind of hard to see on the, on the, well, it's hard to see, but, um, so that one has stickles, the little, um, snowflakes have, uh, stickles on them. And then I have, uh, some snowflakes from last year that I used. So these are buttons. I just cut off the shank on the back and then, uh, stuck some, um, snowflakes on there and I think that tr that that came out really cute I wanted to do something white on white I kind of want to do a mini album but uh, we'll see so this one's white on white and I just I love how it turned out so then I thought well you know I made something for the other person a little extra so I'll have to make a little extra for this one as well so what I came up with was a shaker ornament, okay? This is uh, not a tag, but an ornament. So I just used the circle, um, a, cir a nesting circle die. And I cut out, you know, all the pieces and put them together and put some white, and again, white on white to match the card. And I thought I'd put the 2020 on there and this is seam binding for the bow and i kind of think now that it should have been like i straight seam binding not crinkled but you know it's on there already and then I'll, around the edges i just put some of this trim on there that i had gotten in a haul that i showed with you guys and again around the little dots here i used a different embossing folder for this so i put the little stickles around you know some of the little dots and that made all the difference. That little touch right there made all the difference. So this is what the back looks like. I didn't do anything to the back. I did, however, emboss the circle because, um, you know, so it could, you know, tie in with the front. And then if you guys can notice, see, I hate, I really hate when you make a shaker and your bits, you know, get stuck, you know, around the sides. Well, I tried to take care of that. If you, I don't know if you can pick that up, but there is around the inside, I 
took a piece of glitter cardstock and I cut it down really thin to fit the thickness of the um, ornament and I glued it down around the perimeter and that way my bits do not get stuck there you don't see the foam and yeah I liked it I like the way that came out I may make a few um, ornaments for my tree except my tree is going to be traditional this year but I just like the way that turned out I think that's an a little something extra to go along with the card and yeah guys I think it turned out great let me know in the comments what you think all right guys thank you so much and we will talk to oh I didn't show you the inside of the, inside of the card I only have you know a couple of uh, Christmas stamps sentiment stamps so I did stamp this one on the inside and it's one of the block stamps so it's it's really hard to get a good impression the first time um but it went down before i was ready for it to put it down and it went down a little bit crooked but it says may the glory of christ's birth bring you joy and hope at christmas time and always and yeah i like the way that turned out i was very excited when i finished that so thought I'd share that with you guys. I will talk to you later. I appreciate you watching and y'all have a great day.